Tonight, healthcare workers are pleading with the public, saying they can't take another COVID surge on top of the one they're experiencing right now. As CBS 47's Jocelyn Moran reports, they're urging the public not to gather this holiday season. A primary concern for health care workers is that two major holidays are coming up. They're urging the community to not gather with friends or family this holiday season because they're barely hanging on with the surge we're experiencing now. This is this is beyond what we've seen. And if, if people don't stay home for Christmas this year, um, we're going to see something that's I, I, it's hard for me to even imagine. I think it will break the health care system if people don't stay home. In a press conference from the Fresno County Department of Public Health, a fear of running out of resources and having to prioritize care for patients over others if people don't stay home and avoid gatherings this holiday season. In the South Valley, it's the same message. We can't afford another surge. My concern is <clears throat> it is really difficult to be in that position of trying to decide which patient gets which bed, uh, which patient uh, gets priority. Dr. Sakona Sang, an emergency department physician at Kawia Delta, says with the surge they've been experiencing after Thanksgiving, there aren't enough resources, with physicians and nurses sometimes having to be in the back of ambulance rigs with patients for hours because there isn't enough space inside the hospital. As bad as it is now, uh, I can't even fathom um, what would happen if the virus uh, rates go up. In Fresno County, Dr. Race Voris says there's been an uptick in COVID-19 related deaths, healthcare workers being stretched beyond their limits. Seeing an amount of death that I've never seen in my career. Um, and so there's just a lot of sadness. Now a plea to the public, avoid holiday gatherings or risk heartbreak. The hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life is to FaceTime a spouse and tell them I'll hold their loved one's hand as they pass away because they can't physically come in and visit. And Dan Lynch, Fresno County's Emergency Medical Services Director, says a team with the Department of Defense is expected to arrive at Community Regional Medical Center to help in the ICU on December 31st. In Fresno, Jocelyn Moran, CBS 47, I win. News.